years, all, all the valedictorians were in my class because they wanted to be engineers. Now, the English teachers would complain, you're taking all the top students. I said, they don't care about Macbeth. They want to put a rocket into orbit. <laughs> <laughs> so they're getting it. They're, they're basically self-selecting themselves. They're, they're promoting themselves into the higher order math classes. They're stimulated and, and inspired by the work they do here. But they're going out and figuring out how to get the other requisites. Themselves. Right, so they're, if they're in physics, they're in our class, and they're figuring out how they can build something. Like the big structure that you see on the table is a roller coaster. And so they're trying to work out the, the geometry and the physics for it. We had one where we had a almost like a catapult, uh, where it would throw a ball in a little cup and have to hit a certain target. It looked you know, like this. Mm -hmm. So well, I think one of the things you bring up that's important to me again, so I went to Virginia Tech straight out of high school. Good in math, good in science. Um, at Virginia Tech, I would say I got weeded out because at Tech, you know, five-hour cal calculus mechanics sort of form about two and a half years of engineering school, get to, you know, triple integration, and I can't see the reason for drawing the fourth dimension on a board. And, and so I was a math professor, and he's like, you don't get it, you don't get it. Uh, and so bailed in the marketing advertising still, but I work in a tech company, I work in software, I work in money. So it's all good, I get that, but what was missing for me is that point, and I would tell you that there's not, so the practical application is at least I see that here, what I would tell you is there's not that prep or primer, I think that you're digging at, that's gonna get one of these kids through five hour calculus, and mechanics of the formable bodies, and the other things that are the weed out classes that are now part of that academic curriculum beyond the practical application. Yeah. And, and I don't know that there's even a pre-calc or calc offered in the district. Um, I think we have a pre-calc. Do you have a pre-calc? I'm not sure. Or physics. I mean, I guess, but, we have physics. So you have physics. But the, I mean, so one of the things I would say is if we can, so from this particular vantage point, if we can identify the prerequisites, and particularly for this program, for a job, that could dictate the necessary skills necessary and work your way backwards. Um, that's what we're trying to do because ultimately we're trying to say that there's a need to prep these kids for what they have to go through in order to get to that career where when they see this practical application they can actually be successful in the marketplace. Um, and, and I think you're pointing out something that, that's, a, that's a key barrier, right? There's a big weed out factor. If you go to Davis, you go to MIT, you go to wherever, you're going to be expected to pass five hour calculus. You're going to be expected to get past statics and all that. And, and I don't know that there's anybody here who's gonna take this, pull it back, and and and, and yeah. bridge that gap. So that's a fear factor um, in having to do this, where some of these kids may have to just get through however they get through and find a way to get to that job. Right. Well, I, I think I mean obviously this 